the IT listed or the technology group Ultron had an annual horribles or anus horribles I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right mm. uh, its full year results were adversely affected by strike action in its manufacturing business uh, a market decline in orders from ESCOM and a challenging environment this is with regards to market conditions in its telecommunications sector uh, joining us to discuss these numbers and its turnaround strategy is the company chief executive that is Robbie Fenter. Robbie thanks for your time I just sure. want to pick up on uh, something that I spoke with our market watcher with David Shapiro, mm. um, the fact that you are in transition mm. and you are moving away from being a family-owned business to an independent management structure, tell us about that. I think you know, given some of the challenges that we that we faced during the course of uh, this year, the the board. Uh, uh, had to sit down and uh, along with management um, uh, really review our, our strategic direction um, and the outcome of that uh, review was uh, a couple of things. The first thing was that uh, uh, we needed to focus on our, our core assets and identify those assets in our business that are that are non-core and we made some announcements yesterday in that regard um, and um, the second part was uh, really in our power tech side of the business to explore um, some uh, partnerships with global multinationals um, which 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 we are doing and then also the recognition that um, you know as part of the the future and uh, over a period of time um, where where the uh, family is as a controlling shareholder in the in, in the business um, there there really isn't a, a third generation of uh, of, of, of um, potential successes um, and over time we need to, to consider how we transition to uh, a independently managed business so this transition, you mentioned a couple of announcements that you had made. Yeah. Uh, the decision to sell your subscribers from Altec, yeah. just give us the rationale behind that and what this means for Altec Autopage. Yeah, so as part of that uh, strat strategic review, we, we uh, took a deep dive into the Altec uh, Autopage business and, and had a look at some of the, the fundamentals around the market and uh, the trends that we were seeing. And a couple of things um, had had moved uh, in a direction that made that business model a much tougher business model. The mobile t m mobile termination rates were announced and cut um, quite dramatically. Uh, that doesn't impact Altec Autopage directly, but it impacts the operators, and then obviously it flows through the through the system to. To, to the retail level, um, so we saw some pressure coming from that, and we we've also seen um, a, a strong maturing of the voice side of the of of, of the business, uh, and uh, that's not a new trend. That's a trend that's been there for some time. Um, uh, the, the the strategic view always was that data would uh, would pick up the the, the gap um, of of voice, um, but um, the pricing pressures and deflationary pressures in terms of uh, data pricing um, clearly, in our view, that. Uh, wasn't uh, wasn't going to happen to the degree that uh, was maybe expected at one point in time, and uh, therefore we took the the decision that uh, that we would uh, exit that business, uh, which we announced yesterday. The GSM side of it. Okay, uh, let's now talk about some of the pressure points that we've seen. Your multimedia business. Mm -hmm. uh, there must be some frustration there because uh, Africa has lagged behind when it comes to DTT. This mm -hmm. has cost you. Yeah. Very much so, uh, you know, uh, specifically in the second six months of, uh, of, of this last financial year, we, we saw d regulatory delays, we saw um, one of our major customers was having delays in terms of uh, particularly DTT programs in East and, and West Africa, and um, obviously that impacted on our, on our uh, demand. Um, so, uh, and then, you know, on top of that, we, we have the delays in the South African DTT um, uh, program, which we're very well positioned for. We've been appointed as a tier one manufacturer for, for, for that um, DTT rollout. Um, but uh, again, uh, the delays are, are well publicized in that particular area. I'll take note, the uptake of that particular segment was not what you expected. What are you going to do to turn that around, and how significant is it going to be going forward? I think so. As part of, again, it was also part of that strategic review of the, the, that the board undertook. Um, I think we saw that um, the uptake of, of in the retail channel to market, and, and remember, there was there's always a number of different channels to market, but in the retail channel to market, we saw the uptake slower than what we what we expected. Um, we, you know, the, the product I think is a good product great technology um, in a good space um, video on demand is coming but um, maybe maybe even a little bit, bit before its time um, and and uh, uh, trying to 
product, I think, trying to do a lot of things, uh, you know, home automation and content and delivery, et cetera. So our focus now in terms of um, uh, of the LTIC node is is that uh, we are exploring um, and are at, at advanced stages of exploring a, a partnership arrangement in, 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 in that particular area, which will give uh, a, a much better and new um, channel to market uh, in addition to the retail side. Robbie Fenter, thank you so much, thank Chief you. Executive of Ultron. Next time we speak, we do hope that uh, this turnaround strategy will be very much underway. Thank, thank you so you. much for those sets of results.